What is going on team? Welcome to today's news. Before we start today's news, uh, the Hustle Made launch has just gone live like a couple of hours ago. Shops live till Monday. We have the uh, pretty fresh, the Believe tea, the new fancy shorts in black and gray. Basically, there's a link down below. Hashtag Team Hustle Made, strongest team on YouTube. Thank you to everybody actually who donated towards the Keeler Foundation and helped those kids in Hawaii. We've nearly reached 20 grand. You guys have been insane. 19,300 plus dollars. Please do give yourself a Pat Vellner on the back for that one. Anyway, um, starting off today's news with the Open. The Open is now only two weeks away. Let's just fold up. Oh, I'm not having this. I'm what, not having what, this. What, no, 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 no. It's probably one of my favourite clips with Eddie Hearn, but Eddie Hearn actually can describe the whole Open experience from uh, getting the workout to doing the workout to finishing the workout. Here it is. Hello? Oh, what's up? It's early days though, isn't it? Early days. Oh, let's just fold up. Absolute one million percent bullshit. Bullshit. So, just I'm busy. I'm busy. No time for time wasters. <laughs> <laughs> My darling, you with a headband, you are different gravy. How you doing, all right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah. But actually, it's the first time in life. Cheers! <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> right. This is war. Oh my god, I feel terrible. 20.1. This is the only year that we've ever had two opens in one year and probably the only year they will ever happen again. Team, we're in for a treat with 20.1. Over the last couple of days, we've just had the announcement from the Rogue Invitational that they will be holding a live throwdown showdown live from Austin, Texas between Rich Froning and the newest member of CrossFit Mayhem, Scott Panchik. That is badass. What a bit of news. Also, speaking of Rich Froning, he posted this yesterday saying maybe if we all yell loud enough, the Open will stay away. And actually speaking of the Open and these professional athletes, the people that are gunning for the games, he on minded again the Instagram page that we love for statistics, gave us a table between the 2018 and 2019 time to prepare for the Open days. In 2018, the end of the games was August the 5th, the beginning of the Open was February the 21st. The athletes had 200 days to prepare. Basically, they had a little bit of time for an off-season and then they could ramp up the training. Looking at the 2019 season, the end of the games was August the 4th and the beginning of the 2020 Open is October the 10th. So the, so the games athletes only had 67 days, basically meaning no off-season. But what it does mean is if they qualify through the Open, which they will know in seven weeks if they have or if they haven't, means then they can take an off-season and really ramp up to the game. So we may see just a little change of tactics. Quickly going to talk about the current champ. Matt Fraser. One, he has a fresh ass fade. And two, we have, it's, it's kind of scary. We've seen more of him fixing up his barn and fixing trailers than we have of him training. However, I've been assured that he has been kicking ass in training and he's bringing a great package to the Open. He's under, and 100 points for Matt Fraser. Now quickly speaking of the Open and the Dubai CrossFit Championships, we have the sanctional season starting in 10 weeks with the Filthy 150, where we'll see Dan Bailey take to the floor again for his first time back after injury. We'll also see James Newbury there, fifth fittest man on earth. We'll see Drew Wayman there, Sam Briggs, stacked field. But speaking of the Dubai Fitness Championships, they are doing something cool this year. It's called a, uh, it's kind of like a Dubai Fitness Championships raffle. Basically, if you're not good enough to qualify for the Dubai Fitness Championships, but you still wanna go, they're actually giving away 10 spots for a fully paid trip to Dubai with you and a friend, or you and your plus one, with hotel room, airline, pocket money for the week, $500, VIP tickets. And all you have to do, team, is literally sign up for the Dubai Fitness Championships, which actually they've given me a discount code. Uh, if you use Team Richie at the checkout, you can basically get it for like $10. Video each one of your open workouts, submit them weekly to the Dubai Fitness Championships, and basically they're gonna pick 10 people that didn't finish in the top 30 to invite them across and basically pay for everything. That's badass. And if you win and you're from this team, do let me know and we will definitely hang out. We will be there. So go into that. There'll be a link down below. I want to hang out with as much of you guys as possible. And if you get a free trip to Dubai, that's incredible. From anywhere in the world. Speaking of Dubai, this, this meme popped up and uh, I, it's me. When you thought you were driving a Jeep today. 
Uh, it's a McLaren, Jazz's dream car, smashed up in a car park. Actually, speaking of 4x4s, a little bit of random news, car news. Car news, it's like top gear, but really terrible version. Land Rover Defender to expand its versatile family. Basically, we've seen the next generation of the Land Rover Defender. Do you like it or do you not? Put it down in the comments down below. <laughs> Personally, I'm a fan of the four door. The two door looks terrible. Now, speaking of 2019, second fittest man on earth. Summer days they go short. He was recently on a billboard in Times Square, not because of his athletic abilities, more because of his dog. Nula Pet Food, sponsors of the second fittest man's dog on earth. In other news, Fikowski has been looking at records. Lucas Esslinger has given us a kind of meme. You? Versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. I also like what he captioned above this. This photo he said, feel like a pressed sausage. What does that mean? Something that may blow your mind is that just a couple of days ago, Friends had their 25th year anniversary. Basically Friends came out seven months after I was born. Little reminder for you guys today, uh, who is cool, you are cool. <laughs> And here are a couple of workouts from some games athletes that uh, they kind of took my fancy and uh, I just kind of like the look of and if you want to try it, here's a little bit of inspiration. One, Khan Porter did a home workout, need no equipment. 10 rounds, 10 burpees, 20 air squats, 30 double unders. His time was 11.48, can you beat that? Yonikoski jumped in on a class workout, 30 double unders and then 10 down to one overhead squats, 135. His time was around 5.50, can you beat that? And then big boy Royce. Dun, dun, dun. Royce done. You get it? For time, he did 100 toes to bar at the start and every time you break, 10 strict handstand push-ups. Rest five minutes and then 100 strict handstand push-ups and at the start and every time you break, 10 toes to bar. 6.37 for part one, 15.50 for part two. Can you beat that? And looking at weightlifting and big weights because CrossFitters, we love that because we can't lift big weights because we have terrible form and we do too much cardio. But actually looking at the 2019 World Championships in weightlifting, here are a couple of my favorite lifts. Lou, 81 kilo weightlifter, huge 207 kilo clean and squat jerk to win gold across the boards. Xi <laughs> Zhang Yong, power cleaned and squat jerked 190 kilo. Power clean. 190 kilo power clean. Let that sink in. Om Young Chol gave us a triple body weight clean and jerk. <laughs> 55 kilo lifter, clean and jerked, 166 kilos. Triple my body weight, that would be 270, just under. Not a chance. And Tan Tao, I think that's his name. One from the 96 kilo category. Clean and power jerking 230 kilos. <laughs> These weightlifters are insane. Going back to the GOAT, Rich Fronin in one of his recent Q and A's got asked, what would it take for him to go back to being an individual? He actually responded $10 million after taxes guaranteed. Get rich back to the games as an individual. Annie Thorister tries to blend in with some flamingos. Have you ever heard baby crocodiles make noises? They sound like mini laser guns. Thank me later. What? Hi. And then to finish off today's news, we couldn't finish, we couldn't have a news video without Jacob Hepner doing something. And Jacob Hepner is just, it's all about personality. I told him, it's, what a dude. Very soon, Jacob Hepner, Sean Sweeney, and Chandler Smith are gonna be taking on and challenging Hunter McIntyre at an OCR race. I believe it's gonna be a Spartan race. How has Jacob Hepner been preparing? If you haven't watched this video, it'll be linked down below the full video, but here's just a snippet of it. All right, my name's Ryan, something or other. Like all the good Spartan race runners are named Ryan. And I'm Rodney the Jacked, Spartan racer, king of all commentary. Yeah, this is my coach, Rodney. 
And so we're getting ready to go to the you know, Spartan World Championship 2019, Lake Tahoe. Yeah, and so in order to put my best foot forward and really show everyone that I've been training all year to support my first name, Ryan, we thought we would do a, a week prior prep test. Prep test. So what can I expect, Coach Rodney, for this prep test? A lot of hard work. What can they expect? They can expect freezing water. Freezing water. What is your occupation? Oh, oh. He's gotta go under. Whoa. Gotta love a bit of trash talk. Jacob Ebner do it for the CrossFitters. Now I'm just gonna finish off this vlog with a couple of cute animals, to be honest. Uh, here is a two week old donkey. This doesn't make you go, ah, oh, I don't know what will. Apart from maybe bad indigestion. And maybe a bit of heartburn. When you're going slow in a workout, but you look good doing it. When your cat goes full John Cena, his name is John Cena! This dog right here is called Wally and it's a rescue dog, 12 years old. It's incredible. Can you, you would never get sad looking at that dog pop up asking for a biscuit. And just in case you missed it right at the start, the open is two weeks away and this hamster has just found out. Anyway, that is all from today's news. If you have enjoyed it, as always, please do smash that like button. It really does help the channel. Go back and watch the last two videos. They were some of my favorite videos to create. I haven't done too well on YouTube. They're done good, but not as good as the other. And also, team, remember if you want to get any of the Hustle Made merch, support Jazz and I, and just help us to keep doing what we do. Uh, the link will be down below. I pre-recorded this intro before the launch went live. Ja like, we just want to say first off, thank you so much to everyone that has been incredible at the start of this launch. There is still a lot of items available, but some of the stuff that we had to pre-order, basically the business model has changed, hasn't it, Jazz? It has. Just quick down low on the business model. We're now starting to make stuff beforehand rather than make all of the products after the launch. So we do have very limited stock. Also means that we need to kind of guess what we're going to sell. We highly underestimated you guys. Yeah, we didn't want to buy too much, but we didn't want to underbuy. But I think this time we've underbought, so we're going to try our best to bring back some of the items that you guys may have missed. So we just wanted to apologize to the people that missed what they wanted to get because we want all of you to have what you want. Mm -hmm. But we're going to get a couple of things like the men's shorts, the black colored bag. Really going to try and push to get these before Christmas for you guys. Yeah. Fingers crossed. But thank you again. You guys are insane. Link in bio. Be quick and um, yeah. Thanks again for tuning in. Hope you did enjoy today. Hope it took you out of your world or whatever for a good 10 minutes. And we will catch you guys in the next one. I'm having a tea. Outrageous. Outrageous. Mayhem.